what's the fuck up? How's your mama doing? Afro Joe here. Now, this guy that you seen, this picture of this guy, it's a fucking gay porn star. Now, it's like, oh, I probably heard it, but whatever about it. But you did, you I guess you didn't hit the whatever. But it's like this, man. I'm, I'm like, at first, when I started hitting, oh, uh, porn star did this. I was like, okay, what the fuck a porn, like, okay, what the fuck's going on? And I read the story that he cut up a, the, the guy is 29 years old. Lived in Canada. Cuts up a 33-year-old Chinese man. Sent several of the body parts to police to the police station and was carrying around the torso now the fucker got caught off in Berlin like oh my god for real you're gonna go to Berlin just to fuck around like okay like why would you do like I'm surprised this fucker didn't say uh, let me get a ticket to Afghanistan but uh, that's one thing I don't get that's, that's, that's one thing I don't get it's like why is this porn star going around killing people, cutting off their bodies, not like cutting off their body parts and all this, dismember them? I'm gonna put the story in the in the description box so you can read it for yourself. It's bad enough we there was a story about a 31 year old guy getting humped up on bath salt, getting butt naked and eating a 65 year old man's face that later died. I've heard he died. Now I'm hearing about a a porn star, a gay porn star, cutting up a 33-year-old Chinese man that went to college in Canada. Like, uh, like, is the porn business that bad where you gotta go kill somebody? Is it that bad where your life doesn't mean shit that you want to take somebody else's? Like, if you're a porn star and you want to get out, there's several porn stars that got out of the game and live a, lives a happier life. You don't see Mary Carey fucking in the porn again, do you? No, she got out of it. There's fuckers that still got her fucking work. From probably late 90s, early 2000, whatever. Her work, still got her work. But she ain't doing porn. She might go to them conventions. But she ain't did nothing recently. So how would you know, though? Know? None of your business, none of your business, but, uh, like, for real, though, is your life that pathetic where you gotta kill somebody to make it interesting? There's fuckers that actually get into the porn businesses, the porn business, just to have something fun to do. <laughs> People get out of it because it wasn't for them. They got tired of fucking, they got tired of sex, they got tired of the nut, the, the cum, the titties, the ass, the pussy, whatever. They get out and they get regular jobs. They get regular lives. But I did not know that a porn star is going to lose his fucking mind. Go off and kill somebody. Chop up their body parts and send them to the fucking pow pows. Why would anybody do that? That's one damn thing. Why would anybody want to send, cut up somebody and send all the body parts? It's like a rip off of uh, Criminal Minds. You probably like, what? Criminal Minds? Yeah. There was an episode. There was an episode of Criminal Minds that this guy was a burnt victim and lost his daughter. Lost his daughter, and his daughter was adopted because his family died. And he was cutting, and he cut off a man's head. Sent. Look it up, man. I'll shit you not. It was a fucking scavenger hunt for these guys. One agent got a butterfly, one got a baseball card, other one got a key, and the other one got a, a head. Now I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. And you know, like for it all, you don't never sit well. I can't say speak for every American, but half America wouldn't pull that kind of shit. If you was gonna kill somebody. Why would you cut up their bodies and send it to the police just to get a good chase? You could have did. Look, if you was going to do that shit, why didn't you just do it in another country? Like kill somebody over there and then fuck up over there and then run to the U.S. Or, or something like that. Like you could have did that and just cut the person up, send it to the popos in the U.S. or something like that. But Or in Canada, somewhere far off distance. Like, so how would you it's like, How would you know all this shit? But you got to, because one thing is you got to think about this, man. 
why would this dude want to kill an innocent person? This motherfucker, I know this motherfucker making good money because he in a porn business. Come on, shit. Porn stars make good money. They get awards, not like the Tonys, but they get awards for fucking. That's kind of funny to get awards for fucking. Young mom, I got a word for fucking and giving head and getting nut. Get a nut on me. But, what was this man trying to prove? That's one damn thing. What is he trying to prove? What is he trying to show? What is he trying to say? That you're tired of the, the porn game? You're tired of fucking strange people? You're tired of having to go into the clinic to see if you got an STD? You're tired of dealing with the this the bullshit in the industry like I said if you was tired of the porn business so fucking badly just quit go out get a regular nine to five job and live your life you didn't have to take a life just to live a life what is they gonna get you what the Execution, that right there, that's all they're gonna get. If somebody go kill, they go kill you because you killed somebody else. They go take your life because you took somebody else. What did that Chinese man ever do just to piss this man now? Besides, does he do his school work? I say it's, it, the world's getting bad. You see, you can see, you see one man eating a man's face because of bath salt, because he was hopped up on bath salt. I, now you've seen the porn star cutting up people's bodies into the poopos. That makes no motherfucking... I, I'm telling you, man. I thought the 90s was fucked up a little bit because you got the Rodney King beating. You got OJ and you got the fashion trends. Kid, uh, teen, kid, uh, teen actors or uh, kid actors are getting fired from their jobs so they're doing drugs and porn. Or committing suicide, but... But uh, I ain't know that two in from 2000 to 2012 that this that that the world gonna get more fucked up. From 2000 to 2012, shit's been going downhill. Now 9/11 was a bitch. OJ going to jail. Kim Kardashian makes a sex tape. Then Paris Paris Hilton makes a sex tape. Then China. Makes a sex tape one time. What? What? One day in China, something like that. What? Going to China? Whatever her fucking porn porn movie was. And you hear a bunch of kids committing suicide because of Facebook or because of cyberbullying. Well, you can't blame Facebook because well they're getting bullied through Facebook, so they probably the issue too. But. No, I can't blame Facebook. I retract that. I would do it in another video. But, and you hear about a dude eating a man's face. Now you're hearing about a porn star killing somebody and chopping up their body like Little Shop of Horror and sending that shit around to everybody. I, I, I don't get it, man. I, that's one damn thing I just don't get. That's so fucking mind boggling that a porn star would snap. And kill somebody and chop up their body. Or dismember, as the popos like to say. You probably saying, What's the fuck is the popos? I know you ain't talking about a teletubby popo. No, I'm talking about the police. The El Policia, or whatever. Vive la Front, no. Uh, la Police, whatever, shit. The police. The FBI, like, for real, though. Like, why would you do that? Like, for real, like. We, I, I'm going to ask y'all, would y'all kill somebody? Chop their body up. Send to the police. And try to skip town where everybody know who the fuck you are. They still looking for that nigga in, in, in the pole. They stole, uh, they stole that, uh, that man that won the lottery. They still looking for his bitch ass and that money. They know what the hell. Do you think skipping town is going to make you look like, that, that's, that's some dumb shit, man. I'll tell you, man, people today have lost their mind. They lost their fucking mind. Like, why would you... Uh, 
I'm for real, man, dude. People do some dumb shit. I know times are hard. Life's a bitch, but you gotta get the fuck over it, man. I don't give a fuck. Look, it's like this. Everybody had bad parents. But you gotta grow up and get the fuck up. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you. Say some things to parents to actually put them through hell. Christopher Titus. Life was hell for him from a young age. Look at him now. Big name comedian. Big name comedian. Still making good money. Got kids. Got a girlfriend. Making good money. And you don't see that motherfucker running around killing somebody. Fucking up his shit do you? No. He's got a lot to lose. See what I'm saying? Christopher Tyson we can go. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Because I think doing stand up is a bitch. Look at Eddie Griffin. His life was hard. Mother raising him on his own. Raising him and his sisters on her own. And his grandmama too. Helping raise him. Big ass comedian. Making good money. You don't see him going around shooting somebody. There's a lot of people. Famous people. Porn. Porn movies. Regular movies. TV shows. That have fucked up lives this, and they made it big they made it big now this porn star I don't know his backstory. I really don't I really don't give a fuck he killed somebody it makes you wonder it makes you wonder cause one thing is I ain't trying to put this image in your head but it makes you wonder when he killed that guy did he fuck him fuck the dead body it makes you wonder doesn't it I ain't trying to be sound like a gay ass now but it makes you wonder did he Fuck the body after he killed him and dismembered him. But you you gotta ask these questions, man. Try and figure out what's really going on. You really do gotta ask these questions, like for real, man. Like why? What pissed you off, or what gave you the nerve to kill this man? Well, because you didn't, because he wouldn't let you cheat off his paper. Cause he wouldn't suck your dick. Cause he wouldn't. He didn't want to get fucked in the ass. I ain't trying to be mean towards gay folks, but it makes you wonder. I was like, for real. And of all the things you could have did to calm down, you could have seeked help. You could have talked to somebody. You could have did anything to get professional help. But you ain't had to go kill the man. Man didn't have nothing to do with your shit. He was trying to get himself an education. So you killed this man out of what? Jealousy? Anger? Frustration? Was you backed up? Was your pipes backed up? That he wouldn't let you nut on his face? And you got pissed out and then you killed what well, like for real what is you gotta ask these questions people man like what really made him flip out and kill this man that's the main question what made this man want to kill somebody like I like for real though, if I look look at me if I was in the porn business you think I want to fuck my shit up hell no I would have made good money, saved that shit up, not the good some odd years, did my little bullshit thing after I had the money saved up. Retired out of the porn business, got me another got me a real nine to five job and mind my own damn business. I don't need to kill nobody just to make myself happy. It makes no sense. It really doesn't make no sense on how this man can kill somebody over what? What he, what you kill him for? Oh, I'm serious, man. People just do some dumb shit just to get a, get noticed. Like, damn, dude, like, for real. Excuse me, but uh, for real. I'm going to tell you this. If you wanted, like, you was already in the porn business, so you got noticed. If you wanted to get in that big Hollywood bullshit, move your ass to L.A. Shit, motherfucker. If you don't want to go to L.A., you want to get noticed through, through other outlets. Go to fucking YouTube. 
do some video, not f fucking videos, not fucking videos, but show your talent off so people can recognize who the fuck you are. You ain't have to kill nobody just to prove a point or trying to get the word out there or something. Like, for real, man. Like, it made no sense for this man to do all this shit, man. It really didn't. Then skip to another country. Send a couple man's body. Send it to the police and try to go to another country where people know what the fuck you look like. Okay. Ain't got your DNA on it? Man, what a motherfucker. I, for real, man. I, I, I look at people. Uh, and people wonder why I say what I say. Because people do the dumbest shit. The dumbest shit, trying to prove a point, trying to get noticed, trying to get attention, trying to make themselves, put themselves out there. Look, there's better ways to put yourself out there without killing somebody or fucking somebody. If you really didn't want to get into the porn business, you should never got into it. If you want to be a big mainstream actor, a big mainstream TV actor, go to Hollywood, damn it. Or a singer. Go to start singing and doing videos and posting up on YouTube do something where you can get noticed instead of fucking your way into Hollywood not fucking and sucking your I mean fucking and sucking your way to Hollywood you could have did something else man I, I, I just don't get it these motherfuckers want to kill people nowadays you got a gay man killing people and jumping up about and sending them to the police and you got another motherfucker sitting up there hopped up on Fucking bass are eating people's faces. What's next? I'm waiting for another motherfucker to do some strange shit. I guess in his line of, line of work, this guy's line of work, I bet he did something strange for a little piece of change. That was called killing. He did a little something strange for a little piece of change. I bet the, um, I, it makes no fucking sense that this guy would kill somebody over nothing. Why would you kill somebody over something so stupid? I don't. I just don't get it, man. I'm, I'm a motherfucker to look at shit, man. Makes you wonder, like, why, why, what the fuck? And then you gonna have mother, like, for real, man. Like, plus you got these motherfuckers, like George. Zim oh, I killed this teenager and get away with self defense. Oh, I screamed self defense, but I killed him though. That's one thing I would never get, man. Is people who kill today. People who kill today. What what do they get out of it? What do what a life sentence, death row. Like if your life is that fucked up and you want to end it all, hey man, go like if you want to end it all, hey, just end it all, man. I ain't forcing you, I ain't trying to go kill yourself, but instead of taking some like no hold on, don't kill yourself, but if you if you tired of if you tired of this bullshit, you know your life is fucked up. Instead of killing somebody, why don't you just go out and seek professional help instead of taking somebody's life, man? Because it makes no sense on how people sit up, how people like him would sit up there and kill somebody over nothing. I wouldn't kill nobody because my life is fucked up, but that's how it is. At least, I, at least, at least, at least he could have seek professional help. I don't know what's really wrong with these people, but at least seek professional help man I I just don't get it man you kill somebody and then over nothing I just don't get it well ladies and gentlemen this has been Afro Joe 10 like TIE is follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. 2 CeeLo Jr. 3 and I'll put the story in the description box y'all holler at me later peace peace and peace at we stay.